G'day guys, Will Kitching here. Welcome back to another video. Now, today's a little bit of a different one. It's the day that we take this 29-year-old Johnson motor to get replaced by a new Mercury 4-stroke. So, throughout the video, what you're going to see is us running the motor in and our first thoughts. It's a bit of a sad day because after having this one for 29 years old and looking after it for that long and, you know, it's still running really well, we're, um, we're getting rid of it, but it's also exciting that we're going to get this new motor and it's going to open up a lot of different opportunities for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down to Brisbane Marine now. We're going to get this one taken off and then put the new one on. So yeah, sad day to see it go, but we're going to take you along for the journey. I hope you enjoy. All right, guys, well, it's a couple of weeks later now. We got the call that the motor is on the boat ready and we're going to pick the boat up now. So we're about to drive back into Brisbane Marine at Redcliffe. And uh, yeah, we're about to see the new motor on the boat for the first time. So we'll show you when we get there. Look at that compared to the old motor. She's big. Alright, there's the old motor on a pallet ready to be picked up from the guy that bought it off us. Sad to see her go, it served us so well, but um, can't have the same motor forever, sadly. The old 115 Johnson, 29 years old. All right guys, so fast forward now. You would have seen us picking up the new motor from Brisbane Marine, but we're down at the Broadwater today on the Gold Coast and we're gonna run the motor in. So we'll show you all of that in a second when we hit the water and might even do a little bit of fishing at the end if we have time. But uh, before we do, we're going to have a little bit of a chat with Dad about the new motor. So uh, we're going to talk about why we got it, all that sort of stuff, why we went Mercury. So uh, Dad, tell us a little bit about the new motor. Alright, so very exciting day today. Um, after having the old Johnson for 29 years, those people who have watched the, um, Will's videos before would see we've had the 115 two-stroke Johnson for a long time. So it's very exciting to upgrade to the 115 horsepower Mercury uh, four stroke. Mercury do the 115 in two models. They've got the 100 standard 115 horsepower and then they've got the 115 horsepower command thrust. And what the command thrust um, is, is Mercury being able to put um, the gearbox from 150 horsepower um, onto the 115. So what that does is give the motor a lot more thrust. Um, it'll get us up out of the hole a lot quicker, a lot more economically. And it will also mean that it'll keep us up on the plane at lower revs. So fuel wise, it should save us a bit of money in fuel. Um, the other reason we've gone with Mercury is that the, in the 115 range, is that Mercury's um, 115 horsepower is the lightest, lightest four stroke on the market. The standard 115 comes in at 163 kilos and the CT, the command thrust comes in at 165 kilos so that was an important thing for my boat which is the Haynes V17C it already sits a bit low at the back so having a, the lightest motor I think would be the way to go the other big reason why why we got this motor is the command thrust uh, the fact that we can put the 150 horsepower gearbox which is 2.38 uh, to 1 ratio compared to 2.07 to one ratio of the standard 115. As I said, it's just gonna give us that more torque, it's gonna to give us that more power, it's gonna get us up out of the hole quicker, it's gonna keep us on the plane at less revs. So um, that was probably the main two th reasons why uh, we've gone with the Mercury 115 CT. So we're very excited today. We're here to run the motor in. It hasn't been in the water yet. Um, so the run-in process takes two hours. Uh, we're to drive the boat of anywhere up to 4,500 revs um, and every 10 minutes we've got to open it up full throttle 
uh, for one minute. So for the next two hours, we'll be out on the water doing just that and we'll catch up with you out there. So we're out here, we've been going for about oh, 15, 20 minutes, 20 minutes would it be? Um, so what we have to do is vary our speeds, uh, our revs, sorry, of the motor for about 9 minutes or 10 minutes and then every 10 minutes we have to open it up and go absolutely flat out for a minute. Now I didn't film the first one but holy crap, we were flying. It was insane. <laughs> so I'll film the next one for you but uh, yeah hang on is all I can say holy moly um, and the other first impression that we had of the motor as soon as we put it in the water we all realized how quiet it is it's uh yeah really really quiet uh, you can talk I can film here and you know the old motor you would have heard it like put putting away in the background um, but yeah this one's nice and quiet so that'll be good for uh, both experience in the boat when you're talking to someone and when you got the motor running all the time um, but also when you're fishing, hopefully it won't be as uh, as noisy to the fish. So anyway, we're going to keep going here and I'll turn the camera back on when we go flat out in a second. All right, here we go. Five seconds. I'll show you the front view this time. All right, go. about all the getting all the timing right and everything every 10 minutes going flat out like that um, nothing really exciting but far out can't believe how fast it goes <laughs> all right so this time when we take off I'm gonna sit down the back and show you just how quick the boat gets up out of the hole with this new motor it uh, yeah it really gets us up on the plane quickly so I'll film that for you guys next I'll sit down the back okay, ready yeah Okay, so we're back at home. We've, we've been out all morning and uh, done the run-in in the motor and we couldn't be more happier with it. The power from when you're sitting on 4,500 revs 
to when you open it up to the full 6,000 revs is unbelievable. That's where the command thrust really kicks in. The way it lifts you up, gets you out of the hole and the speed at which you're going. I'm sure Will's video will show you how it just picks us up and, and, and the speed at what it goes. Um, and that's got to do with the command thrust. It's got to do with the 150 horsepower gearbox. Um, the thing I didn't mention earlier on was with the bigger gearbox comes the bigger uh, propeller, inertia pr propeller. Um, the standard 115 has a smaller prop than, than, than the uh, command thrust. And the difference that made was just unbelievable. The other thing I'd like to just talk about uh, for those who are interested in the running of the motor, uh, what we found today is it's really important that you run it in, in an area where there's not going to be uh, too much weight from other boats or too rough a conditions. Because when you have to open that motor up for the minute to the full 6,000 revs and the speed you're going at, you really don't want to be hitting the wake of other boats. So for those who are interested in, in this um, video as far as running the motor in, I really suggest you pick a nice calm day you pick an area where there's not going to be too many other boats because you really need that area to really be able to open the boat up, um, hit it to its maximum revs and believe me, uh, when the 115 command thrust gets up to its maximum revs, uh, it's a bit of white knuckle stuff going on. So um, that's the only other thing I'd suggest is when you're running it in, make sure you get those conditions right. Otherwise it could get a bit dangerous if you're at full speed and you're hitting the wake of other boats or you're hitting rough conditions. So. Um, Make sure you do it safely and all the best. Thank you. So now, before we finish the video, a couple of things that I noticed straight away. Uh, Dad's talked about, you know, the main things, but another thing that I mentioned earlier in the video is just how quiet this thing is. And there's no, uh, you know, petrol or, or smoke coming out of it, no fumes. So it's, it's really good in that way. We used to get to the boat ramp and start the old two-stroke and everyone would look at us like our boat's about to explode. But this thing, nice and quiet the whole time, especially when you're just idling. Um, and as I said, that'll be good for both fishing in terms of scaring the fish, but also um, your enjoyment of being in the boat. You're not going to be having to yell over the motor to talk to each other and talk to you guys. So hopefully now that we've got this sorted out, there'll be a lot more videos coming your way. Fingers crossed. We haven't been able to do too much fishing at all because it's taken us, you know, a long time to sort this out. Uh, then we had the snapper and pearl perch closure. Uh, our whole family had COVID, so we had to stay inside for a while. So we haven't had a chance to fish much at all but stay tuned because now that we got this sorted out and run in fingers crossed there'll be plenty more fishing sessions and videos coming your way so we're really keen to get out there and uh, put some fish to its name so thanks so much for watching this video and uh, yeah if you enjoyed it please subscribe I uh, really appreciate all you guys watching and uh, make sure you like the video comment any questions or your own experiences with mercury and stay tuned for those videos in the future